Hi, welcome to another LLM series video. In this video, we are going to summarize what we have seen in uh, video 1 and video 2. That is video 1, we saw how we can fine tune a model. And video 2, we saw how we can infer using the fine tune model. So in this video, we will create a web interface where we will use the web interface to train and also test the model. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I am Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. So in the first video, we saw how we can take a small input text of a couple of lines and use it to fine-tune a model. So we first tokenize, that is one-to-one -one mapping of the input text to numbers and then we converted the numbers to vectors or embedding. Then we use the GPT-2 model to use it to train and we generated the weights. Okay, that was the output. Then we saved the weights. So that is the output. Okay. So we, this is the input which is the text or corpus. So this is the input and output is saved weights. Remember this is very small model GPT-2 and then what we did in the second video the input query that is we asked our model a query a question. We tokenized the question. We converted the question also to embedding or the vector. Then we use the transformer model loaded with the weights that we derived in video 1 or the training phase. Then it created the output token ID or the next words token. Then we decoded that token to a readable in English text. So that is what we saw. Now what we are going to do is we are going to see the streamlit UI doing the same thing. So single UI can do the training as well as inference. Before we do that, let me show you the corpus text. Our text is, I love parrots. This was the text used to train the model. Just three words to keep it simple. So this is the UI. The, this portion is for training. We will do that. But the inference section is here. We have selected the fine-tuned model. That is the model that we fine-tuned. And we saw that the input text was, I love parrots. So if you query this train model with two words I love and click generate, you will notice that I has become this 40 token, love has become 1842 and then it generated these tokens I love and then this is parrot and some other word. Let's see what it has created. See I love parrots and then R-O-T-S. Why did this happen? 24744 is the word. So let's look at the tick tokenizer. So this is the tick tokenizer website. If I say I love parrots, you will notice that P-A-R is one token. So like I said earlier, uh, the token need not be one letter or one word. It can be a part of a word also. So P-A-R is one token. Then R-O-T-S is another token. 24744. So that is what we got here. So if you reduce the uh, number of tokens to say 2, then you will notice that we get I love parrots. Clear? So we fine-tuned the model with an input corpus text of I love parrots and created the model output, saved the model output and then we loaded the model into a web UI. So remember, so this, this inference is not using any API. This inference is using the model itself. And I have also provided mechanism to choose the model. So if you choose GPT-2, we get the base model. And there, if you query, I love, we may not get parrots. It will be, I love the way. It will be from the GPT-2, which is a very large model, 
when compared to our tiny corpus. Okay, clear? So now what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to fine tune the model again. I will say, I love dogs. Okay, number of epochs, we will make it 5 and we will train it. Okay, training in progress. Epoch 1, loss 7.75, losses coming down, 2.2 .2 loss. Okay, losses increasing. Okay, losses 0.25. Okay, so now it says fine-tuned model is saved here. So we just now fine-tuned a model with the input text, I love dogs. And here is the fine-tuned model that we have selected from the drop-down. Now, it is query I love. See, I love dogs and so this I love dogs came from our fine-tuned input. Clear? If you have any questions or suggestions, please come via the comment section. Let's step by step learn the process. And now, if you look at the code, Streamlit APP is the web interface that uses Streamlit. So, in the inference section, we are loading the fine-tuned model. This is the model path. So, this is where we are generating this code. is identical to the generate.py code that we saw in the video 2. Here we have our prompt entered, I love. And then that is used to do the inference. Okay, so this is a very small code. My uh, debug lines 2 are there, which you can ignore. And the code is there in the description. If you want to run it yourself, please feel free. You can just clone and use Docker to run it. So that is it for this tiny video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.